I'm gonna write that down for our schedule tonight. We're gonna say Chiron and Pluto. Maybe, oh yeah, we were gonna talk about the 12th house too. Chiron, Pluto, 12th house. That's what we're gonna talk about today. Okie dokie. Meow. Meow. Um, how does Pluto associate associate work Chiron because it's about transformation? Oh, I don't, I'm not associating them. It's just because it's Scorpio season and Pluto rules Scorpio. And also Pluto is next to Chiron in this list. And it just was like, oh yeah, Pluto. I haven't. I've been meaning to do some more research about Pluto in the birth chart, and it's right here. Like it, it's literally like the the, the one behind Chiron. So, um, Chiron first, then snack break, then open our books to page Pluto. I like your style. I like where your brain's at right now. Mm -hmm. I use cards and pendulums, but I find them a little weird. They feel vague. Pendulums, pendulums do feel a little bit vague to me. Um, the Aryan tendency to premature action is eccentric orbit. The asteroid comet stays in... Okay, so let's read this little excerpt at the top. Due to Chiron's eccentric orbit, not unlike that of Pluto, the asteroid comet stays in some signs for up to eight years while it whips through others in 18 months. However, its influence is potent. And as you read the following descriptions, you will soon notice that while Chiron's influence is closely related to the characteristics of the sign involved, it brings its own new dimension and subtleties to the sign. Interesting. Interesting. Um, so apparently I have seen some people say, or, wait, hold on. I'm gonna go over my own Chiron because it's one of the more rare ones. And we're also gonna go over Chiron and Aries for sure, and then just go over Chiron in general. So Chiron is based on the the lore of Chiron. The meaning of Chiron is based on the um, the the mythology of Chiron in Greek with the the wounded centaur healer um, who was hit with a poisoned arrow and like the wound never healed. So um, I learned from an astrologer recently that I have a lot of faith and trust in. She was talking about Chiron with someone and was saying that like, or not, she wasn't saying this to someone, but she was saying Chiron is a wound that in, in your birth chart, that is something that you are going to constantly have to manage in your life. It's a wound that you can heal or create in other people. Right, it is as much of a poison as it is a medicine. And like, you know, it's sort of like comes from that saying like hurt people hurt people. So because you've been hurt in this way, there's a high likelihood that you will hurt other people in this way. So <clears throat> being aware of this and managing this is really important in your birth chart and for your shadow work. Um so that's why we that's why we talk about Chiron. Um so, Chiron and Virgo. Mine, maybe yours, but it's quite a r rare one to have. So, we'll get into all of them, but yeah. Oh yeah, go look up your Chiron right now if you don't know what it is. It's a super important modern placement in the birth chart. Um, it's, it's the area of your chart where you can do the most healing and the most harm. Facts! And you don't wanna, if you don't wanna hurt people, if you don't wanna like continue the cycle, of damage like this is something you really you got to be aware of you got to know and you're also continuing to wound yourself in this way if you're not aware of these cycles in, in your life um it's usually a wound related to inadequacy um some sort of part of you that feels inadequate like not good enough um like it's erroneous it's fallacious it's whatever right um, it's not so much as related to shame and repression and it's not necessarily related to the inner child, although it's likely a wound that you, that came to you in childhood that like 
permanently impacted you like something that or like a series of events that were so damaging that like you're never your psyche's never the same but you can manage this wound you can you can do a lot of healing on this wound to make it to make a lot of improvement but know that I think keeping in mind that it will never fully heal makes is, is a good mindset to have because then you never take your eyes off of it. You're always managing it. You're being responsible. Um, you know, it's, it's like having ADHD, right? You can never really forget that you have ADHD. You're always going to be managing it. And you got to be aware of things that make your ADHD worse, right? You never get rid of it but you can definitely make it better and you can also use it to your advantage so that's kind of what chiron is it's kind of like having adhd but like in a spiritual version of but like with that same attitude like managing to make it a skill or something that heals people rather than hurts people why shadow work <clears throat> we'll get into shadow work again later uh, let me read some on this Chiron topic. Um, for most Chiron specialists, this is the sign it rules, but the planet spends only about 20 months every 50 years traveling through it. So comparatively, few people have Chiron in this sign. Research shows that here we have workaholics who will be governed by routine and perfection. Excuse me. This compulsion must be controlled and looked at from the point of view of the subject's health and well-being so that all important tasks are carried out without stress and tension. 